Hello everyone, I think I'm, I'm live. <laughs> okay. Um, can you give me a, uh, give me a feedback uh, regarding the sound if it's too high or too low before we start? Hello, okay. Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> nice to see you there. Um, can you tell me if the sound is okay? So I'm going to put it a bit more up and put the microphone closer. What about now? Um, yeah, it's very difficult because for some people it's very high. I don't know why. And for some people it's very low. Mm, make sure that um, your sound in the computer is um, at maximum. Uh, somebody else can tell me if the sound is okay to have like different different uh, feedback okay thanks Martin okay so it's in some computers I don't know it seems that it's good in some not so much um, I prefer to put it at maximum and uh, yes, if you hear it too much, just <laughs> put it low in your computer. Okay, we start in eight minutes and um, till then, if you want to have a tea, make a tea and yeah, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. <laughs> I'm rearranging everything here in the last moment. Okay. Hi, Regina. Nice to see you again. Hello, everyone. Marika, nice to see you. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, so now it's, now it's uh, okay, the sound. Thanks for the feedback. Hi, Christina. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a very nice day, it's true. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> okay. okay, I think I'm gonna start our six minutes, more or less. 
I have a little bit of chit chat before we start. <laughs> I hope you had a very nice um, Easter week last last week. Um, for some people, actually, it's uh, it's uh, today. It's uh, this weekend, the the Easter, in some other countries. So happy Easter for uh, for those that celebrate today, the the Easter. And um, yeah, it's we are fortunate to see here in uh, Switzerland. We have such a beautiful weather the last uh, weeks. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's we can go out a bit and have some sun or just stay in the in the terrace and have some some sun. <laughs> Uh, what I want to say, actually, before we start, uh, if you have um, some kind of uh, tools like a fork, uh, maybe we can use it so we can go in the kitchen and grab a fork. <laughs> uh, we can make some marks with it or um, some kind of maybe a comb. Uh, this is my, my dog comb. I mean, it's from the shop of the dog, but <laughs> I'm using I'm using it for the for painting. Um, what else? So you can have like a sponge if you have at home any kind of sponge. Just cut a little bit, um, or something that is doing some kind of circles. It can be any kind of top. I mean, something like this. It's it's working. Anything that can be like a circle. So if you don't have anything at hand, it's okay. It's just, you know, just from the, um, the tools that uh, I have and uh, maybe uh, everybody has it at home, I wanted to share a bit. So yeah, it's good to, to take them. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Hello, Fernanda. Nice to, to have you here. From, from Ao. Oh, you are so close. <laughs> nice. We are almost neighbors. <laughs> nice to have you see, to have you here. Okay. So if you can uh, drop a line, say hi. I know that for the people that uh, are not having uh, an account in uh, YouTube, it's not possible to to say to make a comment. But um, if you sign up with your uh, Google, I think Google uh, email, you can make a comment if you want. Um, Fernanda is asking where I'm located. I'm in Retobol. Um, close to St. Gallen, <laughs> more or less, 10, 10 kilometers, or maybe better close to Haydn. And normally when I go towards uh, motorway, I take that direction if I go towards Zug or uh, I mean towards uh, Kur or yeah, that direction. Okay, paint events is here, nice to, to have them. Thank you for being here and support us, the artists. Um, are more and more uh, artists at paint events that are giving online online um, webinars uh, and live webinars. And I think it's nice to try all of them if you want, especially now that uh, I think all of them, they are based on donation, so it's a way to try different things and see what you like and um, yeah, get in touch with different styles, different way of teaching. Um, I really recommend to, <laughs> chat, uh, to check a little bit their website. And uh, also I uh, want to recommend uh, Yanka's uh, Alcohol Ink uh, Workshop that is coming uh, at the end of next week. Um, I'm very excited for it and I, I really want to participate also. Um, also, you can order online the, all the, the tools. 
uh, the set of tools and um, uh, it's a really beautiful, beautiful uh, workshop. And uh, also I recommend it because it's, uh, beside that it's very nice. Uh, I used to do um, some uh, doodling also in, in um, alpha holing. I'm gonna show you uh, quickly what you can do on the alpha hole ink artwork that maybe you don't like so much or you just want to try something. So I'm gonna change a little bit the windows here. Okay, so this is alcohol ink and I did on the top um, some kind of doodling, if you see these parts and the dots. So some of them, I like them, some of them not so much, but <laughs> you know, it's nice to, to try different things and um, yeah, to, to practice and to, to not be afraid to, to try things. So if you have something that uh, you try on, also in uh, fluid painting, like the alcohol ink, you can, you can try doodling on, on the top. So yes, <laughs> it's, um, it's amazing that you can, we can try so many different things. And especially now, this time that uh, it's a bit of challenging time. So um, probably in next week, if you stay tuned to paint events, uh, Instagram or um, Facebook, uh, you're gonna be noticed um, uh, by my newsletter or <laughs> uh, the, um, on some post that uh, the online uh, alcohol link it's uh, available. Okay, so by the end of the next week, okay. If you check the, um, the comments in, uh, in YouTube, you can see the paint events uh, say that the next week at the end, we're gonna have that. So it's one o'clock and uh, let's start. Um, normally I'm starting with a very short meditation and um, I, today I want to say so many things <laughs> about this workshop. It's like, um, actually I wanted to do it for three hours, but uh, finally I said, okay, let's take it easy because too much information sometimes can be overwhelmed. And maybe I'm gonna do another workshop where I'm going more into the theory part. Um, and uh, we keep this a bit more simple, let's say. But still, I'm gonna give you some, some theory information because it's very valuable for what we do today. So, um, um, we still gonna do like a very short meditation. <laughs> and uh, this uh, is gonna be like five minutes, not too much. And it's a bit for ground ourselves and also to uh, let's say get in touch with colors and with the artistic and inspirational part of us. So let's uh, stay straight in our seat, wherever you, you sit, just take, put your, your back straight. And uh, if you want to close your eyes, um, that it's, uh, it's better because all the out, uh, outside information, it's disappearing and you connect much easier with yourself. Uh, but if you don't want to close your eyes, you can keep them open, so I'm gonna close my eyes, it's easier. <laughs> so let's uh, breathe deeply a few times, like very, very deep, and that you feel that your ribs are, uh, are expanded. And keep the breathing and exhale slowly. Inhale. Keep the inhale, the breathing, and exhale. One more time, inhale. Keep it. And exhale. And now try to feel a bit your body, to relax every part of your body. Feel your back, generally the back, it's a bit contracted, the shoulder, relax them. Maybe you need to shake a bit your shoulder to relax. And keep breathing very slowly. 
now I'm going to ask you to imagine a field like a prairie, like a meadow, full of vegetation and flowers, a lot of different flowers and a lot of different trees. And you are there in the middle of the field, looking around and observing what is around. Maybe we hear some water around. It can be the sea somewhere far away, or maybe a waterfall, or just a little river. And let's look around at the flowers and be more conscious of the, the colors of the flowers. And now imagine that you have like, like magic powers, like the kids, they imagine and have magic powers. And when you touch a flower, you can take that color of the flower and paint that. So let's imagine a bit um, color red, for example. You can take any other color. And with your hand, you trace a line on the sky. And you can color the air around you if you want to thread, or you can take in green from the grass or yellow from other flower. And now that you have these magic powers with the colors, let's think that the colors can be like clouds or like vapors, or it can be like liquid, like the water or oily, or they can be like very shiny, shiny and brighty, or even metallic. So you have this power to, to play with colors and, and imagine and create a rainbow with any other color that you want. and give that color like a property of water or clouds or metallic. And this, this imagination, this exercise, you can, you can do it also when you start painting. This is what we're going to do now after we finish this meditation. So slowly, slowly, let's open the eyes and keep that magic power in our hands <laughs> and start to, to create. So I'm going to explain today a little bit what we have, uh, what we work with today. Um, it's not if you don't have it at home, doesn't matter, or if you don't have it now. I just want to explain it uh, shortly for maybe next time or when you want to create uh, at home alone. So um, I have different tools that you can take either. I'm going to change the image in order for you to see. Okay, so I have different tools that are coming from um, from uh, like art supply shop. This, I didn't even use it, <laughs> it's completely new. So, but also, for example, this comb that uh, is coming from my pet uh, shop. Um, and um, it's very nice because you can practically like comb the colors when you put them, especially if you work with acrylics, that it's, it's very, very nice to work with that. Also, you can use any kind of, um, of sponge. You can use um, 
the sponge that you wash the dishes, you just cut a little bit and you can use that one. Um, I have, sometimes I'm using like a fork. Um, uh, so it's, it's very easy to find around the house to have some, some tools that doesn't have to be like fancy things from, from the shop. Also, I have these ones that you can buy them in any art supply shop. And um, after that, I have something that it's a bit more fancy, this, but uh, it's working also. I mean, this you can do some marks, but also if you have like two, three, um, uh, let's say, brushes, you can put them together and uh, obtain the same result. And after that, uh, today we're going to use like maybe a bigger, um, a bigger brush. And um, it's good if you bring any kind of brush that you have uh, at home. Uh, maybe you have this uh, fan brush. It also it's it's good to use any kind of fan brush. Use this one. And uh, maybe something like this that it's a bit bigger. And yeah, we can do. We can play with the with the marks. Uh, also, uh, we're going to use acrylics and watercolor. If you don't have acrylics, it doesn't matter. So it's good any kind of, um, any kind of uh, colors that you have, any kind of supply that you have, um, maybe gouache also. Um, I don't work with oil because it's a bit more difficult and it's not drying uh, fast. So I'm working with everything that it's, work it's uh, drying very fast. So also I have here a lot of, uh, let's say, um, crayons that are oil uh, pastels or, um, um, or these ones that also, I think everybody, if you have kids, you have them at home. So we're going to use these ones. And after that, um, any kind of tools that you have, like, uh, let's say, markers. Um, uh, this is like uh, watercolor crayons, like normal um, uh, jelly, jelly pens, and um, like this, um, you know, like these crayons, like normal crayons. So we're going to use like all of them. And uh, also, if you have some fine liners, I have a few here that is like, like 005 or um, 07 or 02, doesn't matter. So all of these, they're working very well. And like I said, the jelly um, pens that uh, can be white or um, golden. So also, if you want, you can use, um, I have some... Um, let's see, um, acrylic uh, ink. This um, I like a lot because it's a pearl blue. So it's a pearl, but has like a bluish shade. And this is gold. Also, you can work with these ones. But like I said, if you don't have them, doesn't matter. Like, let's work with what we have now. And maybe in, in the future, you can, you can have some of them. And uh, obviously, the... Um, uh, watercolors that the simple one that I, I found in Coop actually um, so it's not nothing fancy um, after that I have something that's a bit more fancy that is this um, um, like uh, golden different kinds of golden but again don't get stuck in if you don't have them doesn't matter it's just to I want to show it to you to uh, have them maybe next time or like you know, to give some inspiration if you want to, to use them next time. So uh, today we're going to work um, in um, one, two or three or even more if you want. Paper uh, can be different size. Um, the size doesn't matter. You can have like something that it's uh, very small, something like this. This is like maybe uh, five per seven centimeters. Uh, or you can have something that it's a bit bigger. Um, this I think is 20 per 15. Uh, like doesn't matter. So uh, normally uh, I have like a bigger page and I cut it in two or in four. So um, everything is working. Uh, can be like a bit more uh, thinner or um, more thicker. Like really this is like 
uh, everything is working. <laughs> Even in the newspaper, if you want to work, it's, it's working. Uh, I'm saying that we are working today in uh, three or four or how many you want, because uh, you're gonna see that um, we're gonna have like different kinds of colors and it's nice to try different, uh, let's say, to play with the shapes, marks and everything. So um, that's why I, um, I prepared like a few for, for me. If you have um, just one, it's okay. Also, if not, just really grab something like if you have a magazine or whatever, because everything will gonna be covered with colors and it doesn't matter. Uh, if it's a magazine or a newspaper or whatever, any kind of paper that you have at home. <laughs> uh, actually, I like this because it's like, you see that art is not limited, that like very fixed art supplies. It's, it's nice to, to be inventive and creative and uh, work with whatever you have at hand. So this is the thing. Uh, I put this paper here, I put the, um, uh, the tape because I want to have the paper uh, fixed for you to see it. But uh, in some point I'm gonna take another one and I'm not gonna work on, I'm not gonna put this anymore, the tape. So it's okay if, um, if you don't have the tape, if you have it, you can put, put it or not. It's, uh, it's not important today because we actually won't gonna work too much with water. Uh, it's nice to have uh, today a little bit of structure. Also it's true if you have like some paste like structure, you can work on this. Uh, I want to show you some uh, paintings that I uh, started. They are like old uh, fluid painting that I didn't like them and I covered them with white and after that I, I tried different, different things on them. So also if you have, like I said, with the alcohol ink, also with the uh, acrylic painting, you can paint on the top if you have things that you don't like. Uh, this is like at the in some kind of face, this one. This is like just um, a small cartoon that also I try things. But uh, this is uh, this is a thing that you can cover what you don't like and work on them. So uh, this is this is um, it's very open for everything. <laughs> okay. Um, the other um, thing that I wanted to talk with you today it's about a bit this theory it's not really like a, let's say um, a lot of people consider them like uh, rules of um, let's say of art and um, art and design but um, I like to say that the rules are especially in art are made to be broken and um, yeah I'm gonna explain you a little bit about them but uh, just because um, now in the abstract and in general, any kind of um, style of painting, it's good to know a bit the rules because they help you. These are like, let's say, um, yeah, they help you how to organize your painting. It's about composition. And the composition um, or the design of your painting, it's um, how the elements of art uh, or the, of the the visual the visual elements are organized in in your painting, and uh, the elements of um, of art are like the shapes, the color, the marks that you do. Um, I'm gonna put uh, here because I have a paper, and if you want, you can make a screenshot. So this is about the composition. So you have, you see there that, uh, okay, you have it now, good. Uh, it's a bit of de a delay <laughs> between when I'm talking and when appears in the, in your YouTube channel. So um, that's why I've seen it now that <laughs> you have it. So um, you see these elements of, um, of, the, um, of the art and design uh, are practically the elements that we we build uh, a painting and um, that you, doesn't matter that you, be, you paint um, uh, abstract or realism or whatever, um, are like some general rules that they work for every kind of painting. So um, uh, are like the line, the shapes, the colors, the texture, um, the space and depth of the painting and uh, the rules 
uh, what we're going to talk about today it's, uh, and what is very useful are the, um, the principle of art and design. And I'm going to put also this on the top here, the principle of art and design. And the most important thing of all these principles is the contrast and maybe also the, the balance. So the contrast uh, can be in between the colors, in between the, the marks that you do, uh, in between the, um, let's say, the light and the darkness of the painting, and um, also in, um, in the pattern, in the size of, of the pattern that you use. So now I'm gonna refer uh, strictly at what we do today, the abstract painting, and um, I'm going to give you like a little example of um, what I have here because it's always better to have a, an example. So uh, if you want, uh, I'm going to upload this um, extended uh, version of, uh, of um, composition and the principle of art and design in my website and also I'm going um, to be in the paint event. So you're going to, you can check it after that more and you can uh, download it. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go here and explain a little bit about um, the contrast. So for example, in this painting, we have different, we have contrast in, in colors, obviously. And also we have contrast in, um, in uh, let's say saturation of the colors and in the value of the color. So, um, uh, also it's a uh, contrast in, let's say, um, in, in the color, like how much color you put and like the, um, uh, the not, not the quantity, but the, the line. Like if you do like, let's say uh, this red, it's a lot of red here and just a little bit of yellow that will be um, a bit out of balance. So that's why it's good also the, the size of the color. That was the, the word, the size of the color. <laughs> and after that, in the, um, the size of the elements of your patterns, also it's good to have something that it's a bit balanced and not to have like a very big one on the side and all the small ones on, on the other side. So, um, also the diversity, uh, again, it's, um, it's good to check a little bit the contrast in diversity to have like different kinds of shapes and marks and um, yeah, to, to play a little bit with this and to keep it in mind. So I don't want to get too much into this because it's, um, I mean, we want to paint. <laughs> and um, uh, if you want, we can, you can read it after that. Uh, after this uh, webinar, I'm, I'm going to upload it. So um, we have, let's say here, um, another example that I have this, let's say, um, like, um, maybe I explain it at the other webinars. Uh, we have like, um, like a sound that it's um, like a very uh, mild, and after that, we have something that it's bold. So in the painting, we start with something that is very, like, not very bold. And after that, we can uh, add elements that are much more bold. So it's how I start when I paint with, um, with uh, watercolor. When you paint with acrylic, it's a bit different because um, it's another story. <laughs> uh, in watercolor, uh, it's almost like a rule that you have to start with very, very light and add um, more layers. Because if you start with the uh, very dark, you cannot, uh, it's not so easy to make it transparent and nice like uh, how the, um, the beauty of watercolor is. But if you work in acrylic, it's something different. In acrylic, you can do whatever you want and after that you can cover it and um, you can paint over like a lot of layers. So that's why it's a bit <laughs> tricky depending of the, of the um, medium that you work with. And uh, the last one that I want to show, so here I have like 
um, different colors. I have the palette uh, of this kind of greens and after that I have a contrast with the black. And I have the contrast uh, in between like very thick lines and very thin lines. Um, like very thin elements and very thick elements. Because if we paint something that it's like completely even, it's a bit boring and it's not, doesn't make your mind or your eye going around and discovering things. And this is what the mind wants, want to discover, to be, um, to be amazed. Everybody wants to be amazed <laughs> by something. So when you look at the painting, if it's like too even, it's not interesting. It's, um, let's say, yeah, it's maybe boring or it's, it's not, uh, doesn't make, your, make you stay there and uh, want to discover more about that painting. But in the same time, uh, that's why I'm saying it's not like a rule, are very beautiful paintings that are very simple and um, uh, let's say um, uh, they're very attractive and uh, are, are giving you like a very nice feeling. But it, this is like very uh, big, big uh, topic. and I'm trying to stay a bit away of this. I just wanted to explain you, just uh, to give you some example. Also uh, about the palette of the colors that we work with and what I like to do sometimes is to to play with um, with a palette of colors and um, create my palettes let's say and um, uh, put some colors that maybe I'm I I don't use them or I don't um, yeah I don't like them too much but sometimes when you put them together you, you start to see that they are uh, nice and um, uh, let's say let's take this one like yellow orange and violet maybe it's a classical one but i don't know it's like depends of each <laughs> each person or um, a brownish normally the people they don't work too much with, with brown and actually if you put it close to other colors that um, like here so it's a kind of brown they can um, shine nicely so it depends all the time how you put the colors together uh, sometimes I create my, my palette and I'm not staying with it. <laughs> I mean, I have it uh, now I create my, my palette. Just one second, I'm going to take it. I'm coming back. So I have here my palette color. It's not very, um, I don't know if you see it, maybe because it's so different in, uh, in the computer, it's so interesting. <laughs> um, seems like a very boring color or uh, I don't know, it's like more, uh, let's say tones of colors, not pure color, um, which lately I'm a lot in, in this and discover like different tones of colors, like shades uh, and not use too much like uh, the pure colors. And um, normally I start with this, but after that I get off. <laughs> and um, I, I listen more like my intuition, but it's like, it's nice to have like a kind of um, direction from, from the beginning. So let's start now. I, I advise all the time the people to not stay, um, to not get stuck in what I'm doing, because especially now in the, in the abstract, it's a bit more difficult to maybe to do exactly the same because we have maybe different tools. I'm, I'm gonna try to stay with the basic tools, but uh, it's nice to, if you feel free to, to follow your, your intuition and yeah, what you feel inside to, to, to do. And also it's very important to um, keep this child uh, child uh, feeling inside like play with this magic uh, powers that we <laughs> we try at the beginning we we uh, experiment in them in the meditation to be curious what is happening if you mix this that color uh, with another one or this uh, let's say if you have some golden or metallic colors with uh, some normal colors and uh, also like different kind of uh, sizes of brushes and tools and everything so um, now uh, I'm gonna start with um, with the watercolors uh, because it's nice to have this transparency that the watercolors um, uh, is giving. And after that, we're gonna go towards uh, acrylic painting, but 
I, like I said, if you don't have, it's okay. So um, I like to start with a big brush. And after that, to, to have like big surfaces, let's say um, I have here my palette color. I'm going to start with some kind of green. So try to have it very, very watery. And to create almost like a, um, like a cloud of the first layer. And um, it's, I'm not gonna cover all the surface. I'm gonna go just some parts of it. Something like this. You see, it's very, very transparent. And I hope you have some, um, like the um, hair uh, dryer that we can use if it's too much water. And now that we have like a lot of water there, we can add a bit more color, which is very nice, but nothing even, just play a little bit with with some, like just corners, let's say. Okay, and now uh, let's take another brush. It's uh, good to use different uh, sizes of brushes. Um, now I'm gonna take something like this, the fan one. And I'm going to go to another green. And I'm going to do just this. Maybe another one here. So, yeah. Just a little bit of stamps. And now I'm going to take like a normal brush. This is like, like square brush. And I'm going to take another color. Maybe I'm going to take this violet, bluish. And also I'm going to do it a bit transparent, this one. And I go a bit in, in, the, in the other color. And after that I'm going down. And here I'm going to do like a shape. Like a... Like a half circle, let's say. Okay. But you see, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually, I like this invasion of, of violet into the other one. And I'm going to put a bit more green here to have more. It's almost like bleeding into the, into the green. And... Uh, let's take uh, let's take another another brush that it's a bit thinner like something like this and now we take the color I'm gonna take this color that I have here so you see our, it's not really the same colors but like more or less the I'm staying in that palette and now I'm gonna do some lines here from up down invading a little bit this green something like this so what we want to do now it's um let's say the first layer that it's a bit more transparent and we alternate between like big surfaces of color and after the some marks but yeah not too much <laughs> uh, what is happening in uh, in abstract and working with a lot of tools and brushes and is that in some point you have like this urge to um, to use every every kind of of tool and um, in some point can be too much if you use them all in the same in the same um, page let's say and that's why I said that it's good to have like different, um, to have maybe another two, three. And uh, when we let this drying, we can use the, the other one. 
and uh, you can try different kinds of tools, different kinds of colors. So normally when I'm working on, on this in on abstract, I'm working like serious and like different, uh, like maybe six, seven uh, little paintings. And I'm practically I'm doing like experiments. And some of them they are nice, some of them they are not so nice, but it's like all the time I'm learning something, what it's working, what not, the combination, because it's like infinite uh, possibility of combination of the tools and colors. So um, yeah, feel free to, to take um, another page now and try another, um, uh, let's say, another palette colors and uh, different kinds of, of tools if you want. Um, now I'm going to continue, I'm going to put a little bit more uh, color here with another brush. I'm going to take this one and see what it's happening with what kind of mark it's letting. And now I'm going to take, um, let's take another green. So for this one I'm not taking too much color either. But also I don't want to have too much color because I want this to dry fast. And I'm going something like this here. And maybe something like this here. This I can do it like a square. Okay. And here I'm doing something like this. Something like this. And now I'm going to take another one. Do you have some different papers around? If you, if you don't, like I said, you can take like a newspaper or whatever because we're going to, or like something, like a notebook that you have. Okay. And if you have, uh, if you if you don't have and you want to work on this one, um, it's good to wait a little bit now to dry. So if you have a um, hair dryer, you can use it and and wait a bit for when it's dry. So I'm gonna take another one. Now I want you to see it, so I'm gonna try to stay here and not move. <laughs> And I'm going to use different palette now to have uh, this I'm doing it here. Uh, I'm going to use a bit more pinkish. I don't know why. Lately, I'm so much into pink. And I'm going to bring these marks here. Something like this. So it's it's nice to to it's good to understand that every kind of brush it's letting different kind of of uh, mark, and you can use a brush in different actually positions. So you can use it like this, or you can use it like completely straight and do this kind of shapes, or you can use it something like if I have color take more color here and you can use it like this you see it's, an, it's the same brush but different different shapes okay and now I'm gonna take another brush you can also um, use this kind of things that are like a bit uh, like silicone um, points and this is working nicely actually with acrylic and I'm gonna show you later uh, later later and this is like I mean also now I took some um, watercolor and it's working a bit like yeah like a, a brush but you have another kind of texture so 
that's interesting. Also, you can use like tilted or you can use it like doing some kinds of mark like this, something like this. Yeah, for me always it's, it's nice to discover how can I use a, a brush and which different ways I can, I can use it. So now um, I'm going to try this strange one that I take like different kinds of, okay, that's interesting. Okay, and um, I'm going to put this to dry and I'm going to take another one, that's this one, Let's see how is the, the size, okay. So I'm going to take now uh, the color, I'm going to go towards, um, let's say a bit more of reddish and brownish, something that also I like. Now I'm going to work something that it's a bit more curved. It is a bit like more bold <laughs> movement because I have like, uh, like a big sign here, like a big mark and also I have like very intense color here and I've read a bit uh, loose but it's like yeah why not try different things <laughs> and now I'm coming with um, this uh, square brush and I'm gonna take some brownish that I almost always uh, avoid but uh, lately, I don't know, I start to, to like it because it's finally, it's a very warm color. It's our earth color, the, um, the ground and I don't know, I start to like it. <laughs> and here I'm going to do something like this, a bit more. You see, this is what I love in watercolor that has this transparency and that's why if you use too much um, the value of the color, uh, if you put too much color on the brush, um, you don't have these transparencies. Are, it's more difficult to, to notice them. So that's why it's, you have to build it up from transparent towards like opaque. So um, let's take this brush that it's a bit like a sable. sable. And I'm going to take some, maybe some orange. Yeah. So if you have questions on, on this way or this till this moment, you just, you can ask me on the chat in, in the um, YouTube chat and I'm going to answer um, via audio. And now here I'm going to do some lines, something like this. It's almost, it's okay if they're not straight or, actually for this kind of painting I like when it's not perfectly straight, any kind of line or it's a bit more messy. Here I'm going to do something again, a bit more bold, like, some circle and I want to add a bit of reddish okay now I want to break a little bit this um, this big sign looks a bit like yin and yang <laughs> very abstract one and I'm going to take uh, this one again and with the yellow I'm going to do something on mm, like something here maybe like around or just a half actually I like just a half and also here I'm doing a bit this 
Hmm, I like it. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> it's good to amaze yourself. <laughs> um, so I have three now. I'm going to go back to the first one because I want to let this to, to dry. And this is my first one. And I'm going to use a bit of heat gun that I have to dry it completely because it's not very dry. So now I'm doing a bit of noise. So, like I said, uh, you can use the, um, the hair dryer or this one. So, finally, it was a little bit banded, but it's, it's okay. I'm not very picky with this. If it's uh, banded, it's... For me, it, uh, a lot of this um, are like uh, experiments, and uh, it's very easy to work, actually, if you don't think that... Uh, if you don't have big expectation and... You don't come to um, to the practice of painting with the idea to create like a huge masterpiece or um, the ultimate painting or whatever. It's nice to to just try and play with the colors, and at some point you're gonna come a masterpiece or whatever because it's it's like let's say like a law of practice. <laughs> so and sometimes it's happening exactly when you less suspect it. <laughs> So now I'm coming back to that one, also this is almost dry and um, here what I want to do now it's something a bit more bold and more transparent in the same time, I mean some parts I still want to, to see them um, and to have like to build up like this transparent, uh, transparent um, layers but in the same time I I would like to use also a little bit of uh, acrylic paint. Um, if you don't have, like I said, you can use, instead of the acrylic paint, you can use uh, more intense uh, watercolor. So you don't use too much water, you take like a lot of watercolor and not too much water. So uh, now I'm gonna take the big one and here I want to put this color. I'm gonna put it on the top of this one. And I'm gonna do like a circle. And maybe now I put a bit more because anyway, it's a, a light color. And I'm trying to make a circle. It's not working very well, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to do something also here, something like this. So it's um, at the beginning, it looks like, I mean, also um, almost all the, um, the process of, uh, let's say, abstract painting looks like a mess. <laughs> And just at the end, uh, you sometimes it, you add some elements, and everything is coming together. It's unified. It's uh, it's linking together. So this is a, a bit more maybe difficult because you look at it and it's like, oh, where is this going? But it's uh, nice to continue and to let yourself, um, let's say, free to experiment and learn from what you actually experiment. Uh, because um, it's just doing it, you, it's how you, you're learning. So here, for example, I, I don't like that this is finishing here. Now I've seen that it will be nice if it's a bit more longer. So I'm going to go a bit more longer here. Like this. Because otherwise, uh, it's, we have this 
I like the contrast uh, a lot and um, this would have been finishing here. It's a bit like, I don't know, for me it was a bit weird. So that's why I follow my intuition. <laughs> so now I'm going to go to the next one. Let's see if it's dry. Uh, no, it was this one. I'm going to try again to dry it. And I'm gonna do it with the other one. Okay, almost done. So, so here I, I have, I see that I have like a lot of lines and I don't like too much that thing. So I want to build something that it's a bit more uh, compact, like maybe some kind of um, thing that looked like a stone, let's say. And um, I'm going to take, let's see which color I want to do this. I'm going to take a kind of green that I already use, but I mix it with bluish and it's a bit more turquoise. And I'm doing something like, let's say, like a stone, something like no clear or shape. And here I want to put more color. And after that, I'm going to take this blue, violet, actually. And also build something here. Same thing with this. And with this green one, you can add like more color on the corners, like different color if you want. Here, for example. The most beautiful thing is when you when you mix like different um, mediums like acrylic with with um, watercolor or um, the squash because you have like different texture like you see the acrylic it's much more um, like thicker and it's completely different of of the watercolor and this is giving like let's say more contrast <laughs> And also with acrylic, if you put it in a very, like in a thick um, layer, you can come with these um, tools and you can play with them doing like some structure there. I think I, I'm gonna do like a, a workshop maybe with just with this acrylic um, abstract because it's, it's much more like a richer. And um, now that in Switzerland you can go to the shops I think we can, um, or also you can buy from paint events some some of things. Um, you can access some other medium. Okay, so it's good to have some paper around to wash your, to dry your, to take the water from your brush. Also, I'm using. Um, this kind of bu bubble plastic. This is uh, very nice also in uh, acrylic, um, much more, uh, let's say, visible in acrylic than in, uh, in uh, watercolor. So I'm going to try now in watercolor. Let's let it, uh, I, let, I let it dry. 
and here I'm gonna do some bubbles to see how it's working and I'm gonna show you if I'm doing this so now I so I have too many tools around <laughs> I have to simplify a bit so I'm putting here some color also you can put it directly on the on the part with the bubbles or you can do this I'm gonna take a bit more I don't want too much but Now I'm going to put it here. And I have this effect that I kind of like a lot. I don't know why it's in the video. It's very, it's not very, it's very um, intense, the color. But from my side, it's not so much. <laughs> so um again if you have questions just drop the question on the on the chat there in in youtube and i'm gonna reply to you so now uh, because i have this i'm gonna i want to put it somewhere else also i'm gonna put it also here i'm gonna take a bit more color and i'm gonna put it Okay, for the other one, I'm gonna let it like it is. This, I think I'm gonna do something here. I don't know, I don't like that too much. That um, lines here, and I'm gonna do this to cover a little bit. And I'm gonna come back when it's dry. So let's see what is dry now. This, I'm gonna dry it a bit. it's nice if you have like a big table um, you have to put some um, tape I also I didn't have space here to because I, I have a lot of um, things around and but uh, normally when I'm working, um, I put like tape on them or yeah, it's easier. Okay, so um, let's see what to do with this. Um, I think now I want to have something like bold because yeah, I like this shape, but still it's not like convincing me. <laughs> So also for the abstract, it's um, nice to to turn it and see which part you like more. I mean, which, uh, let's say, position, because maybe you start to paint like in this position, but after that you discover that you like it more like vertical or actually the way around. So um, yeah, it's uh, all the time is good to turn your painting in, in when you do abstract painting because you can discover <laughs> like a new way of looking at it that you like much more and also um, um, yeah at the beginning of a painting when you do something abstract it's, it's it's good to all the time to turn it so till a point when you in some point you're going to realize that okay I like this uh, this side and I'm going to work on on that side so for me, I'm gonna. Um, I have to work actually in this position for you to see it. So I'm gonna try to make something from this, and 
now I'm gonna try to bring some acrylics on, on this painting. Um, you can use any kind of acrylic. This is actually from I know a shop that I never knew how to pronounce the name. So Strand Greens. It's I think it's Danish uh, or maybe Swedish shop. <laughs> um, and it's very yeah it's it's a very good painting. I mean it's uh, it's not the best but it's it's good to use it for this kind of project. And and now I'm going to put a little bit here. And because it's acrylic this it's a bit more visible. It's going to be more visible and it's covering some parts of of the um, watercolor. So here now I want a bit to get rid of this size and I'm going to break it somehow. I think I'm going to do something here. Oh, I love this. So actually, you see, sometimes you, you do something and it's... I love when the things are not perfect. <laughs> so um, this um, um, brush, because it was a bit dry i didn't have too much water actually i didn't put at all water uh, you see it's not you can see the part from below and it's like transparent i love a lot this texture and i'm gonna do something let's say it's more here and i think it's enough because i don't want to over maybe here <laughs> it's hard to stop <laughs> okay and now I'm going to go here on the other one and I think I'm going to use the same color because it's working with this palette that I have but I have to put a bit more so here I'm going to go a bit on the top of what I have uh, maybe here and I'm going to do this thing like this shape and I'm going to do it here also and maybe so now I have like some elements that are connecting the painting. But I like it that it's transparent. Still look, everything looks like weird. <laughs> but it uh, doesn't matter. You have to trust the process. And here it's still it's not dry, but I don't care. I'm going to work here. Uh, and I'm going to put something that it's a bit more, you know, it's covering a bit more and I'm going to put this kind of the same brand. Uh, I'm going to put it somewhere here that it's covering a bit more. Okay, I'm very curious, where are you in the process? <laughs> to be sincere, it's like so difficult to not see what, uh, what you're doing and... Um, yeah, to be close to each other. <laughs> so now I took this brush and I have like a kind of mint green. And with this, I'm gonna do some, something like this. So it's like a half uh, donuts. And still is not very, because I had a lot of water on my brush, it's not very visible, but I'm going to bring another color there. So I'm going to put the same kind of, of um, donuts here. Just I want to have it a bit more like clear let's say like um, bold more visible and more exact because it's nice to alternate between like very the edges of the elements to be like very fuzzy and something that is more um, exact more precise Oh, 
Okay, here it is. Good. And I like this color. I'm gonna do something here, like some marks like this. Okay, but now this, I want to uh, do it a bit more like uh, visible and I'm gonna use this kind of color. So it's the same brand, but it's a bit more darker. Also, you can create with acrylics transparent colors, adding a lot of water or other mediums. But uh, yeah, now we work with this with the watercolor. So now I like actually much more this, and I like that it's not perfect. Yeah, but now I want to connect this color with the other ones. And I'm going to do some uh, hmm. I think not with this. I'm going to use another brush. I'm going to take this pointy brush and I want to build some kind of shape but with dots with the same color that I used here. And I'm gonna do it on the top of this one. So what it's, you don't have to be afraid of painting of the top, on the top of what you already painted. Uh, that means that uh, you are building up uh, layers. So in the acrylic, it's much more easier to be sincere, but also here is like, um, it's interesting because of the transparency and the acrylic it's much easier because if you don't like something you cover it here you cannot really cover I mean yes you can but in some point it's like the paper we're gonna get destroyed <laughs> so now I'm gonna do this uh, pointy they are not really like points like just some small um, lines and I'm going to do this kind of shape. So I have this correspondence between this color and this color here. And maybe I'm going to do something here like um, I have the lines. So maybe here I'm doing something a bit more thicker like this one. Because I want to create a kind of balance of the painting. And here I'm going to do the lines like this. Something like this. Not convinced, but it's working. <laughs> it's uh, gonna come together in some point. So I'm gonna pass the next one. And let's see what is happening here. Actually, I like a lot this this um, feeling that it's a mess and from this mess to build up something that finally it's it's nice it's like maybe not nice I don't know it's attractive to your eyes that it's because nice it's obviously it's very rel relative for each person so now what I'm gonna do it's uh, taking this um, um, these are some little rolls <laughs> leftovers from the um, from my dog sex <laughs> and it's very interesting what it's uh, written on the on this um, support of the plastic bags it's worry less uh, wag more wag more <laughs> it's very interesting it's like uh, worry maybe for, I, I mean I think it's working also for us I mean be uh, less worry and maybe move more no we have to move more, yes. So I'm gonna take this kind of 
bluish and also you can mix actually um, acrylic with watercolor it's uh, it's interesting I like these things here in in painting especially in the acrylic it's very nice to analyze um, like what is working and what not what you want to keep and what not and uh, it's a process of letting go uh, and go with the intuition and after that coming back uh, with the rational mind and uh, look at the painting and see what you like from this painting from this phase of the painting from these layers and what you want to keep here and what you want to transform so it's like all the time playing with these states of mind of letting go and be rational letting go be rational and uh, yeah follow the intuition and after that follow the mind so it's not all the time like okay i'm going with the intuition and whatever i mean it, it's also the work can work that but for me personally i like to when i'm in in this phase that i don't know um it's like the intuition it's it's still working but I see definitely that I like this a lot these lines that are coming coming out from this it's almost like a suggestion of, of rain or something falling and that it's like going let's say hand in hand with the intuition so I, I want to keep these things and I want to do here like like something like this so that means that I put more emphasis on this shape and probably I'm going to come with some um, with a fine liner at the end and do something here on this. Now I want to put something more bold and do some dots like the other one to do it here. Something like this. and also I'm going to do it maybe here but here I'm doing it a bit more like longer like different kind of shape not like that one something like this And now I'm going to this one, which this one I like a lot. And uh, here I'm going to use some of the tools. So if you have something like a, um, something like a uh, comb or you can use, everybody has a fork, no? We can use the fork. So I'm going to use the fork also to... have uh, to see for you to see the effect and um, now I'm taking like quite a lot of um, acrylic or gouache if you have and you can put like I said before you can put uh, a lot of uh, watercolor if you don't have acrylic of, or gouache and I'm gonna do here like I'm going to put a lot of painting. Okay. I'm going to put a bit more. And now I'm going to grab some color and go down and do something like this. So you see how nicely you have like completely random shape or like marks I, I i love the marks and the more crazy tools you have the more interesting marks you do so now i'm gonna take the this cube that i told you about and i take the same the same color that i use for this one and i'm gonna do some kind of circles like random circles 
So it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be oh, like nothing fancy, just some circles here and, and there. So this is one and I want to take this color that was the violet I used before and do something also here maybe. Okay, I think now it's too much. Just I put this here and now I still have some color that I want to use. Maybe here. And I'm doing like different things. And this in a way it's like unifying the your painting. And then I'm letting this one here and I take the this one and here I'm using this and also I'm doing some kind of um, circles and also some here and here I want to use also the small one so I'm alternating like in between the small and the big one looks much better this alternation in comparison with this one that you see it's just are uh, just a small so this is this is the difference you see between this when it's like all even like it's just small circles and when you have like different sizes this is the contrast so that's why i'm gonna do also here some circles, big ones, here and there. Okay. So, let's see where I go now. So now I'm gonna dry all of them because I want to start to do some doodling on the top of this. So this, let's say that this is the background of the color. And now I'm gonna come with the fine liners that can be uh, this one or the jelly rolls or any kind of um, fine liners that you have. Uh, you can come also with um, this color crayons Obviously, you can use also the, um, here, I'm gonna do something for the sake of demonstration. Um, we can use, let's say, also Sharpies, like any kind of marker that you have at home, like these kinds of, these are sharpening. Um, and here, for example, this is like a watercolor crayon and this is green and you're gonna see that the texture is completely different and I want to have like a different texture in some part. So I have this thing here. So you see that it's like super bold, <laughs> super um, visible. And I want to try also, I have this um pink here and here i'm gonna do like a circle here and also i want to use uh, let's see what i have here this one looks nice oh yes i like this but now uh, this is, uh, we are going now back to the, um, what I talked at the beginning when I said that it's nice to have like a balance, like it's good to have contrast, but not too big contrast. So now I have this color that it's so bold here. This is like very visible, uh, it's doing a big contrast, but it's almost too much. So I want to compensate uh, this color here, that I like a lot. 
<laughs> okay uh, this is like a rose um, no, it's carmine but it's yeah looks more like rose and I'm gonna do uh, something let's say here like something like this and now I have like a little correspondence and here I'm gonna do some dots like maybe a bit more visible okay and now it's more like um, there is a correspondence between between them okay here I have something that it's uh, like chalk and I like to do this so this is the kind of we start to doodle a bit this is the moment when we can use this kind of whatever you have at home sometimes I like this color a lot <laughs> sometimes I, I I see a color and it's like oh I want to use that color so it's good to to um, respect a bit these cravings of the colors because they are the colors practically are giving us so much so much life if you look about if you look at the um, at the field and the, uh, it's what we talk a little bit what what we did uh, about the meditation that we did at the beginning uh, it's about this about the color how much uh, life brings to to our uh, to our uh, lives <laughs> um, you see the contrast between the countryside and the city the with the gray, gray buildings and after that you go in a park and it's like suddenly wow you feel like energized so if you have like a crave for some kind of color respect it because it's something that you maybe need to to have in that moment so now I'm gonna bring this kind of this is the rose yes okay and I'm gonna put here a little bit of rose also and that's it oh, maybe I put also here something yeah I want to do this okay so this is one we let it dry and let's see what to do here okay so here I have the feeling that it's a bit too darkish and I want to bring some more like bold uh, colors like something that makes contrast with all this and I think I'm going to use again these uh, colors Uh, so I have different kinds of pink like I said I'm in a pink phase <laughs> I don't know why and also I think I want to use a bit of black so let's see what is coming out from this one so I think I'm gonna do something here like very bold this is very strange has like the texture of the lipstick <laughs> and you can even it a bit but it's really like a lipstick texture it's very interesting <laughs> and now I still want a bit more yes okay and I'm gonna add some like I said I like this here I'm gonna do a bit more stuff here and now I can do this okay not all of them just a few And here, this thing. Okay, this probably is the one that less I like. <laughs> I have a feeling. 
And this one, again, it's a bit very, it's a very different contrast. It's a very different color on the screen <laughs> than I see here. And here I want to add also some, these two colors. Okay, and here. And you can play a bit with this, like spread a bit of color. Okay, I like that. And maybe I'm gonna add here some kind of dots. So uh, try to not be afraid to, to paint. I'm, I'm repeating this all the time, <laughs> also at the workshops. Because normally uh, we paint something and we are so afraid to, to paint over. And um, actually it's nice, it's how you build build uh, layers. And you don't have to be afraid. It's just a piece of paper, it's just a canvas. And the, the worst can happen is that you learn something. <laughs> and the best you have like something new that is coming out so I think this is done more or less with the background I'm gonna go back to to this one that I don't like I don't know why it's something that I don't like maybe I have to turn it and see what is coming out from this yeah maybe I like it more like this I'm not sure. Definitely not like this. Don't ask me why. <laughs> and I think actually I like it like this. Like vertical. So I think this I can work a bit on it because you still see it. But I want to do something bold in this, in this one. Like this is or it's working or we're going to be a mess. <laughs> but like I said, I like to 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 risk things. So I'm gonna take this that it's this the the oil um, past pastel. It's very um, when you use it it's very visible and it's when you want to do something bold you, you take this and do it with this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a line you see how bold it is this this kind of stuff. And now I want to do it a bit less bold, let's say, and I'm working with the finger on it, so I'm spreading a bit this this blackness. Okay, and okay, kind of like it. Obviously, I'm gonna come with like very fine lines now to have like contrast between this and this one. And now what I want to do is to put some color here. And actually, maybe I'm gonna do another line with the same oil thing. like this yes okay let's see what is coming out from this one and I'm coming back to this let's see what about this if we turn it which size it's nicer Okay, I think I like this position, not size position. And let's see what I can do here. Okay. 
Okay. I think it's enough. So now I'm coming with the, uh, let's say the fine uh, tip. And I'm starting to do like very fine, let's say lines or marks or um, um, whatever you, you feel like, like shapes. Um, and normally I'm doing them like on the top of like the big, the big um, shapes that, for example, I have here. And um, it's like normally I use like a repetitive pattern. Like if you participate at the first uh, workshop, we did like different kind of patterns uh, on the watercolor. So you can take one of that. I don't know if I have them. Just one second, I'm gonna show you. I hope I have them somewhere here. So yeah, I have some. So you can take one of these patterns um, if you participated that uh, live webinar. You can take one of that or you can come with something new uh, or you can do something that I did or whatever you just look around and uh, maybe even you know look at your, your clothes your <laughs> your um, t-shirt your um, what it's around you and you see everywhere you see patterns so I'm gonna do um, this is not the first of here <laughs> So I'm going to do some triangles here, maybe not really triangles, something like check-in, <laughs> check-in, <laughs> okay, let's do this. So how is it for you till now? I think it's, wow, it's 2.30. So the time is passing super fast. I'm really curious how, if you want to drop a line and say something um, about the process or how do you feel or if you have questions or if you want me to, I don't know, repeat something or uh, questions about the um, materials that I'm using or tools, just let me know. So I did something here and I want to have something maybe similar, but um, uh, a bit smaller. I'm going to have it here. And maybe here I'm going to do like um, one here and another one. I like that. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> I'm so, so curious how, what you do. Uh, if you feel like after that to, to share in Instagram or just send it to me, that would be nice. If not, it's, it's okay. If you don't feel like, uh, sometimes it's, it's like, so much you are so much in the process that you don't feel like going out for the process <laughs> okay so somebody is commenting that uh, uh something that i want to to comment uh it's uh, it's dealing with the fear of messing up what i already like it's true this is um is the biggest fear and everybody has it. <laughs> I have it also. It's like, um, and I mess it up. I, I've made so many, I destroy so many paintings that I half like them. But it's how, like doing it is how you, you learn something and you learn 
when to mess up or when not so it's okay because uh, think about it. it's like just a piece of paper you can repeat the process you can do it differently it's um it's really it's working like a, when you learn a foreign le uh, language you learn some things but if you don't talk never you you won't have this um, fluidity of talking a foreign language you're gonna know a lot of theory uh, grammar maybe a theory but you don't have the fluidity of talking so this is the same you probably know a lot of things about materials and how to use them and everything but if you don't make mistakes uh, you cannot be corrected so i think it's um, it's okay to be aware of the fear but just try it you know it's like the fear i think will never disappear to be sincere like uh, the um, the big uh, the the big artists they it's with us all our life won't disappear from our system it's in in our system in the human being system so that's why it's <laughs> uh, it's you know learning to work with the fear <laughs> i hope that that uh, helps a bit so now also you, I see this, for example, and I have the feeling that here I'm like too, it's finishing too much and I want to go a little bit more with this green thing. I like it more like this. Okay, so uh, it's, uh, somebody asking me about my Instagram. It's Anna Paz Artist. So it's very easy. Anna Paz Artist together. Okay, I'm gonna send it after that on the on a message. And uh, let's see what to do with this. I think also. Um, I want to do something that it's like correspondent with this and I want to do like very fine lines here. Something like this. And maybe here it's going a bit more. Yeah, I mean, look, for example, um, what I was saying before. I don't like to manage this now but you know i try it <laughs> it's nobody died i'm still here uh, somebody you're gonna think that it's a mess or not i i don't care it's like uh, what is more important for me like artist like a person that i try to do um to express myself through art is to try whatever is coming into my mind in that moment <laughs> you know to really uh, explore and experiment because now I, I did this, I don't like it too much, but maybe I can cover it with something or I just let it there and I accept it. And it's like, okay, I'm not gonna do that maybe next time or I'm gonna think twice or whatever, you know, you, you learn something from that and, um, and it's okay. So I'm gonna pass the, this one. And here I have these lines that actually I want to do something like um, very fine. And I'm going to take one that it's zero, zero, uh, 005. Let's see if I find one. Yes. Also, this will be nice to combine it with uh, golden, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows if you don't try. <laughs> but first, I'm going to start with this very fine lines. So this is really, really fine. And now I'm going to come with another one. And I'm, it's not very visible. So I'm going to try with one that is a bit bigger, zero one. Okay. So I did a bit more mess there. But I like it because now I'm coming and I'm filling up that mess. So I'm going to do another one here. Okay. So 
So now I'm going to come with some details here in this messy thing. So these are the, the small details that are coming um, that you discover when you go close, closer to the, to the painting. And this is a kind of doodling. So I'm filling up all this, uh, let's say, bubbles that I created. And also I want to do more things with the black fine line, uh, liner because I want to have a correspondence between these black lines and after that uh, other small, small things. And I'm going to do something on these uh, shapes that I have here. So even if I have this here, um, it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. I think I'm going to do something like this. And now, because I actually like this, I'm going to avoid to do something on the lines. Okay, I really like that. And I'm going to start also, I'm going to do something here. Now it's easier. Also, it's nice to have some, I hope you have some music uh, at home. I didn't want to put anything because it's, it's better to, yeah, to hear my, my voice and but uh, when you paint uh, at home alone, it's um, it's very helpful to to have some music. Uh, for me, I found it very inspirational, and um, I normally I paint with with music, and uh, it's very interesting because it depends of the music that you listen, you have another mood, and you paint different things. Obviously, if you have something that it's like rock and roll, you cannot paint. <laughs> you feel like dancing or, I don't know, something like, you feel like uh, moving too, too much, maybe. So normally I put very chill out music, like some kind of, um, um, I don't know how to say, like inspiration, um, spiritual music, like, um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> now it's not coming anything in my mind, but something very, very chill out. Or some... Um, or just instrumental music, again. That helps. Okay, and now we can do on, on these things, we can do some some other patterns, like some small things inside here. I mean, now it's, it's adding details here and there. Sometimes also it's good to know when to stop. <laughs> and um, 
I often push this limit because um, it's um, I, I I love to I'm I'm getting into the let's say like in a trance and I'm just doing thing <laughs> like like um, my hand it's possessed somehow and suddenly I f I look at this like oh my god it's too much this I don't like it <laughs> so um, I have a lot of things that are like um, I did too much on them but um, yeah it's it's okay I mean I enjoy the process and for me that it's very important to to enjoy the process because let's face it like in 100 years nobody is going to know about me <laughs> and about my art it's like everything will going to disappear and uh, but uh, your feeling inside and what you experiment and how you experiment and what you feel when you paint that it's the most important thing that it's like what is staying with you and what maybe makes your day or is giving you like a feeling that um, yeah you you create something no no matter how it looks like <laughs> so yeah this is okay well and this is the we almost uh we have 15 minutes till it's ending and i'm gonna uh, close this one let's see how because this actually is the one that i m most like and um I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> it's uh, exactly the the fear that I was talking before. So let's see if it's working. If not, it's what it is. And I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> so I want to do more here, more of this and maybe here something like this i like this yellow pink combination and now i'm gonna come with this um black and i'm gonna do some let's see what is working here Sometimes I really don't know what to do, so don't never think that artists, they know everything <laughs> and they have everything figured out. Sometimes I have paintings that I let them like maybe for months or weeks and I don't know what to do next, but in some point is coming inspiration. So um, not all the time you have to finish your painting in the same hour, day or week that you start it, you can let it there and come back later. You can turn it and at some point you're going to have some some inspiration and you're going to find out what is the next the next uh, step. So, I think I'm going to do some little dots here, circles. Like uh, almost like a stony area here and after that they got there are little dots here, like a broken piece of um, yeah, stones, <laughs> let's say. Okay, and some lines here, like small lines. like this ok 
Okay, and uh, what else, what else? Um, I'm trying to look some other position. Also, it's, it's good, you know, when you have a painting, especially if it's a big one, to look at it from other position. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to take a picture of it and look through the phone. It's very interesting for me. I, I discovered some things that I want to do, like looking at the picture on the phone. It's, I don't know why it's working very well. <laughs> so yeah, that can also help. And let's say, I think I want to do something somehow here. Yes, I like this. Okay. And maybe it's done, more or less. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to put it like this. And I'm going to do here. Also some kind of lines. Okay, and also something here. Okay to like it. I mean these lines are not how I want them. Here the distance is too small like I want it like here but it's what came out. <laughs> so I I accept it how, it how it is and I think I mean I can do it like let's say I'm doing another line here and yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can correct it or not. Uh, I don't know. It's it's okay. -ish. I mean, uh, now I see that this part that I like a lot with the um, that I did it with the fork. Now it's almost invisible, so wasn't a big deal. But you see, it's like how you learn. And I'm gonna do something like this, also here on the top of this. Okay, at this part it's still wet and my liner is not really working. Something like that. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to, let's see. Um, to this one. Let's see how it is. Let's make something else. <laughs> I mean, I, I really like it. Uh, this part here, that's not so much, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna go in these small circles to do some dots. And this will be like my element that is connecting everything. I'm gonna have these little dots everywhere. And uh, I'm gonna do some here, maybe that. Okay. 
bigger one. Don't forget that you always can go back to, I don't know, if you want to do like more circles or to add some things. Just keep in mind that uh, when you use the, um, the oil um, pastel, you cannot use on the top the fine liner. You're going to get stuck there and it's not doing anything. So um, that is a good thing to keep in mind. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to um, close with a few words. First of all, that even if we see a very simple abstract painting, <laughs> uh, it's not so simple. The abstract, in my opinion, it's the most complicated, the more complicated, uh, the most complicated um, style. Because at the first look, it looks like maybe, oh, okay, two, three colors and two, three lines. But how you put the lines, how you combine the colors, how you combine all this together, uh, to have something that is balanced and nice to look at it it's it's hard and you achieve it in in time and by practicing so that's why it's good to do like um i, I don't know if you try like every day to do like two three of this uh because you see i like in two hours we did like i don't know about you i really hope that you you give me a feedback i'm really interested in your in your experience uh, I did three of these, so, and I have like a lot actually um, uh, that I'm doing, like, um, lately I didn't feel to do like very big uh, paintings and work on the acrylic, so I start to, to stay like in small things and um, to do like more abstract, um, and there are things that this one, I don't like it at all. But, um, you know, I enjoy the combination. I enjoy the things that I realize that I don't like and uh, they don't work together maybe. Um, so that's, I, I gained something from, from this experience. Uh, this one, I like it. And also this one, uh, I like it still, I don't know. Mm, at the beginning was like my favorite, but uh, something on the process I, I, is not convincing me. <laughs> But still, it's, I enjoy the, I like a lot of the combination between the yellow and this um, color, the carmine. And I'm going to keep this in mind. And for the next painting, I'm going to use this combination. Also, I like this, this uh, part of the, um, this brush stroke. And also, I'm going to keep it in mind. And I have it, I have it there. So what I want to say is that sometimes I have uh, this kind of uh, pages where I, I keep them just for something that I like there, you know, and, uh, um, you know, leave uh, aside the, the other things. And this one is the one that I, I really like. I mean, I could still do some stuff, but I think it's, I said that it's too full. And actually, I like it more like this, I think. Yes, I like it more like this. Also, at the end, you can change the, the position. So thank you so much for um, being here with me. Um, okay, the donation, you can go to the Paint Events uh, Workshop, uh, Paint Events page at the workshop um, that was given today. And you find there um, a link where you can donate. And thank you very much. And um, also, if you want to share with me, you can go to my Instagram. It's Anna Paz Artist. I'm going to write it right now. Um, just one second. 
God, it's so good knowing that the boss. I put it there in the, it's Anapas Artist. I don't know why in uh, YouTube, in the chat, they put this red thing in just Anapas, but it's Anapas Artist <laughs> altogether. Um, also, you can find uh, in my, thank you, in, um, in my website, anapazartist.com, you can find Instagram, Facebook, everything. And also of, um, of Paint Events, and um, yeah, have a nice Sunday. Um, enjoy the, the sun. It's still nice outside if you can go and uh, keep creating. And if you have questions, you can really you can send me uh, a message on Instagram or Facebook or like in an email. And I'm super happy to, to, res to reply to you. And um, also, if you want to participate to more uh, workshops, you can uh, stay in touch with us, with Paint Events and with me uh, in Instagram and <laughs> Facebook and through our websites. And you're going to see when are the other uh, workshops, mine or the other artists from Paint Events. So thank you so much and enjoy the, um, the Sunday. <laughs> the afternoon and the evening and the next week always <laughs> bye